so in this video this is geo fox and it's pride month happy pride and it's a lot going on it's like a, you know for me personally as i reflect on pride month june 22 2022 i'm just thinking about a lot um because it's a lot that we got going on that we're faced with. Um, there's a lot of anti-trans legislation that's being passed state to state. And the attacks against transgender people, transgender youth, children, their families, their communities, transgender adults, our families, our communities. Um legislation that's aiming to take away our health care, our access to health care, our access to gender affirming care. Legislation that making it, you know, where uh, transgender children, youth are unable to go to the bathroom, to play sports. Uh, and, you know, uh, don't want us adults to go to the bathroom. There's people that want us to be exterminated, essentially killed, um, denied access to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, um, and denying us of our constitutional rights, our bodily autonomy. It's just a lot going on, and I'm just like, yes, it's Pride Month, and it's like, you know, it's a time for joy, happiness, and love, and peace, and joy, and pride but it's just it's hard to do that when you are constantly being faith when your life and well-being is constantly being jeopardized and threatened um, and yeah so and I just I think about, like I said, this is state to state. So this is local and state elections that also greatly, significantly impact our lives. And then we have our federal government and, you know, there's three branches of government. You have your legislation, your judicial, you know, it's all of these different levels of politics and elections and elected officials and like they have the power, the jurisdiction to craft these laws that impact our lives. And people really have to start realizing the power and the seriousness of this. And then I'm also hoping as we celebrate pride and we honor pride within the LGBTQ plus community, we really have to get unified and and stand together in, in solidarity because we're being attacked from all fronts and a lot of people even within the LGB plus community are very much transphobic and it's really unfortunate because it's just like <laughs> we all and I'm going to say it, so, we all face so much scrutiny and discrimination, bigotry and harassment from the greater cisgendered heterosexual community. And this isn't to say that everybody that's cisgendered heterosexual or is homophobic or transphobic or biphobic. This isn't to say that everybody in the LGBTQ plus community is, you know, transphobic, biphobic, homophobic, but it's really, really disheartening and sad when people within our community are harboring the very same bigotry, ideologies, and concepts and beliefs. And I feel like a lot of people were just dismissive of the trans community and the, and, and, and the struggles that we face. And kind of just like, who cares, you know, that's, you guys aren't really in the LGB community and blah, blah, blah. 
And then, like, even the B, the B gets, like, the B, the bisexual, the bisexuality gets left out within the LG. It's basically the LG community, and really, it's really the GL community. Like, and it's all about the cis GL. Like, because everyone else gets left out. Like, all, like, I don't, it's like, where is the plus? Because you really don't even include the B, the T, or the Q. So you're definitely not really including the plus half the time either. It's like, but yet we're all in here. And it's like, we're all being attacked. And if one of us is being attacked, then we are all being attacked. And to all of us are free, none of us are free. I just wish people would like really grasp that concept because it's like, y'all see how they, they push those anti-trans legislation state to state. Now, all of a sudden, it's the don't say gay bills. You see how they started slowly. They attacking a trans community first and then everyone's like, oh, well, that has nothing to do with me because you guys aren't really in the community and that's gender and this is sexuality and we don't really want them either and blah, 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 blah. And now they're coming for your shit. You see how that, you see how that backfired? Now they're coming for your shit. And it's like, the trans community historically has always pretty much been there for everybody, has led the way. Black and brown trans women and trans feminine people trans people of color but like every time stuff is going on it's like who cares about the trans community whether that's from the cis hat the cis or the lgb like or the lg or the gl like it's just like i'm just like whoa like we need to have more unity like for real like this is not like we're being attacked like we have the highest suicide rates highest unemployment rates highest you know, levels for homelessness. You know, we go through so much trauma because of the negative stigma and the and the and the um, bigotry and the closed-mindedness. You know, the blatant homophobia, the blatant transphobia, the blatant biphobia, and again, and then it's also internalized. A lot of us internalize this. You know. We've been we've been taught our entire lives that we're committing sins, that we are abominations, that we're going to hell, that we are, you know, um, we're satanic, we're demonic, we're possessed. You know, it's just it's it's dehumanizing. And that's what's been happening. And then, like, we're also being accused. They're calling us groomers. And it's like, I was a trans child. I knew that I was not a girl. I knew that as early as four or five years old. And again, I was a trans child that never got to live their, their life. And I had to wait until 2018, October 11th, 2018, to be exact, on National Coming Out Day, I came out the closet. So essentially, I'm about to be 30, and I didn't even see myself making it to making it here. You know, I still have months to go, but it's coming up, Lord willing. And uh, I never thought I would make it to be 30, let alone, like, I just never really saw myself being an adult, just being honest. I did not foresee any of this. And I realized how much of a privilege and a, how much of a privilege how privileged I am, how blessed I am to be able to do what I do, have what I have, and live my truths. But I want this this privilege, I want this blessing, this privilege to be a basic human right for everyone. You know, you say that we have, in the USA, in the USA, you say that we have the right, right, to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, then let people have that. Let people have that. You say that we are the land of the free, then let people have the freedom to make the choices for their own bodies. Let people have 
body autonomy. Like, you cannot, the contradictions. If all lives matter, then that would include the LGBTQ plus community. That would include trans people. That would include black people. That would include women, cis women, trans women, people with vaginas, ovaries. That would include everybody. Then actually live up to it and prove that. You can't just have slogans and sayings and things on paper, yet none of your actions prove that, reinforce that. So, happy pride, yes. Be prideful, be loved. And there's nothing wrong with being gay. There's nothing wrong with being trans. There's nothing wrong with being you. Spread love, not hate, you feel me? And trans lives matter. Protect trans kids. Like, I pay my taxes. I work. I have a family. I pay taxes. I volunteer. I provide. I protect. I serve my community. I, you know, am an asset not only to myself, but to my family, to my friends, to my community. And it's like, I'm a human being. I'm a human being and I have a life and I matter. And it's really ridiculous. Like, you don't want me to have a job. You don't want me to be able to go to the bathroom. You don't want me to have health care. You don't want me to be able to get gender affirming care. But yet you want me to pay taxes and you want me to work. Yet you want to claim that you care about mental health. But then you want to deny people of gender affirming care that has been shown and proven to reduce the rates of suicide amongst the trans community, people in the transgender community. It's just so, yeah, so happy pride, but it's just like, yeah, we, it's hard for me to be joyful with everything going on around me and then seeing people suffer. And so it's just, I just had to make a video on that because I'm like, this is just absolutely crazy what's happening out here. But anyways, I'm about to go in. And I do wish you all a happy, safe, loving, thoughtful, awakening, peaceful, joyful, positive, safe pride. I'm out.